Bro, has any application ever redesigned their UI and it's been a good thing? Never. Has that ever happened? Never. <laughs> All redesigns I, are bad. Every every time Actually. it happens, I've never I've never seen one that that was good. Twitter, stupid. Fucking what's another one? No, no, it's X now, not Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. How dare you? Sorry, Elon. Sorry. Um, (laughs) Elon, by the way. Oh, my God. You did not just remind me of Elon. Did you guys see uh, Elon? Elon made a tweet in in the light of the recent Grand Theft Auto news. We'll get back to the UI thing in a minute because you just reminded me of the funniest shit in the world. Uh, So, so in in light of the recent Grand Theft Auto news, uh, Elon Musk participated in some discourse about the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Did either of you see this? Not. Elon I thought you were going to talk about some other news, but we can get into that after you are done. E- Elon Musk said, hold on, let me, let, Elon Musk GTA, let me see if I can find the tweet. I can find the tweet for you. No, because then I can't say it, and then you laugh, because you'll have already read it. Yeah, hey, I found <laughs> it, I found it. Um, Elon Musk said... In response to a guy who said that he hasn't played any of the GTA games, uh, he said, tried, but didn't like doing crime. <laughs> GTA 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. Just couldn't do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a fucking, what a nerd emoji ass little bitch. He can't shoot <laughs> fictional police officers in the opening mission of Grand Theft Auto 5. What a fucking loser dude <laughs> I, okay, here's my theory behind that he 100 percented that entire game but he just wants to pander to the to the other people god i hope so i hope i hope and this slandering, is le- buddy pandering and slandering i hope this <laughs> I hope this is him trying to just pander and slander to his audience because this is the fucking most pathetic loser Elon L yet. And there have been there have been many Elon L's. <laughs> but we did have one Elon W, or Ooh, I guess I would say V. It's like half a W. Ooh, what's the Elon W? Is this about Alex Jones? Yes, it is. Oh about shit! The myth, the myth, the legend, Alex Jones is being considered for reinstatement on X. Elon said that he would consider bringing Alex Jones back. I re- I respect it. That was that was my one of my biggest criticisms I of Elon. Think that that is a big dick move. He could completely ignore the entire Alex Jones controversy and just Completely ignore it when people add him. But this man took time out of his day to respond to somebody on X <laughs> and say, I will consider it. He, I, I'm glad he's finally at least considering it, because that was, that was one of my biggest criticisms of him and his management of Twitter was his insistence upon uh, free speech and it being a public square. Uh, then everybody's like, hey, you're unbanning all these people. What about Alex Jones? And he's like, no, not that one. Like, like, Riley, Riley, <laughs> Riley, it's X. We don't want to dead name Elon's oh app. Oh my god, just shut up. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. We don't want to uh, zap. It's not Twitter anymore. Twitter prefers I'm, to be called X now. I'm against, <laughs> I'm against all the people that refuse to call it X on principle because I think that's stupid, but I do just forget constantly. I still call it Twitter half the time, too. Yeah, I just, I just forget and I'm like, yeah, it's Twitter because it's been Twitter since fucking 2009. I've, I've made the switch. It's X now. Have you, though? Have you really made the switch? It's dead name. I don't want a dead name Twitter. Because Elon said that he, would, he might reinstate Alex Jones, you're actually going to call I respect it Expect Elon for doing that. That <laughs> takes a lot of balls to bring someone like that back online. Oh lord! I wonder what, I wonder what Alex Alex Jones's first tweet, first post on X is going to be. <laughs> oh man, it's it's going to be a great day. It's a great day for humanity when Alex Jones gets ba- brought back on the internet. What a what a what a beautiful day it will be. 
Uh, but but real quick to get back to how this cold open originally started before I introduced the show's proper um, Discord Mobile uh, went through a whole ass overhaul and it fucking sucks and I hate it. <laughs> it's so awful. They separated the servers and the DMs and the notifications. Why? Actually, I kind of like it that way to be honest. It looks more what organized reason? than anything else. But, like, everything was just so convenient the old way. It's just all there. You open Boomer. one page, and there's all your servers, and then there's, if you have DMs, they're at the top, and it's just, like, everything's right there. You don't have to fucking sift through tabs. Go on go on the App Store and just revert back to an old version. That's smart. That's smart. That's that's actually genius. I you want to live in the that. past, live in the past, buddy. But we're living in the future over There's here. <laughs> I'll join the future I'll, of Discord. The I'll future join of the, apps. I'll I do the, think that the notification tabs on both uh, desktop and mobile are kind of useless because you still get those blips half the time. Yeah, that's true. I know there's a uh, there's a lot of people who uh, show show off as a status symbol that they've uh, neglected to update uh, X for so long that it still shows up as Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that a few times too. <laughs> Let's see, all those people are dead naming the app, so I think True. thrown in jail, jail immediately, <laughs> jail, jail, <laughs> million dollar <laughs> fine, life in prison. <laughs> no, they just have to buy. They just have to buy the check mark. That's that's their punishment. <laughs> <laughs> They're locked up until they finally like fine Elon. I'll pay you the eight dollars. Well, actually, just it's let four. me see my wife and kids again. I'll pay you the eight dollars. It. I think the lowest tier that gets you the blue check mark is is uh like four dollars a month or something. But no, if you dead name X, you're gonna have to pay the full twenty two. Even if you don't oh, use shit. full twenty two, you got to pay the twenty two to Elon. <laughs> then I'll get to use Grok. <laughs> you guys excited for Grok to drop? Grok? Excuse me? You've never heard of Grok? The hell is Grok? You don't know about Elon's new epic AI, Grok? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> he made like, a. We're living in the future, man. He made it's a. Time to catch up with the times. We can't be we can't be complaining about the past. We got to change the future. He's developing a, a chat GPT esque uh, AI chatbot, um, but with with uh, with real time knowledge of what's going on in the world. Whereas Chat GPT is like a couple years behind. Uh, huh. Grok Grok is meant to actually understand in real time what's going on, um, and it's been I think the beta is out there. Like it's been rolled out to some high level uh, Twitter people. Um, and he's starting to to roll it out to the masses, or at least the masses who pay for the check mark. Uh, and it looks interesting. To be fair, yeah, I'm, I'm considering getting the check mark. By the way, I want to go get <laughs> verified on X. You're considering getting that check mark? What's the I'm point of the check mark, anyways? That there, that nothing. nothing anymore because it used to be that you were somebody important that needed to be verified as a real person. Um, but now, and now it can be verified. Check mark on fucking TikTok or some shit. Yeah, that's and on, on every other platform, that's what it means. Like, yeah, but like but on but X, Elon decided let's just sell it. I can message whoever the hell I want on <laughs> X, so I can bring them on this very unhealthy program. That's fair. Yeah, you get you get premium. I can have you DM all the people I'm too scared to DM. I'll I'll do it. A simple text, even though easy. a lot of them I could DM because the they we have message history. <laughs> exactly. I'm still I'm still too cowardly to ask them. But if you if you get premium, you could ask them for me. So, but, that's a that's that's a later talk. You know, I'll I'll pull some legwork for a couple people that you're too scared to do. However, when it comes. You know what you have to do for 108. That's no. on you. No. It is on you. That's the, one I w that's the one I won't do. I'll do you, every other one. Whatever. whatever. Introduce <laughs> the show. Well, <laughs> welcome to Detour Ahead. I'm Riley, and of course, I'm here with Alex. What up? And special guest on the show, uh, old friend who, at least I haven't spoken to in a while. I don't know, Alex, if you have. Uh, Killer Pup, what's up? Hey, y'all. Just chilling. What's going on? 
Welcome to the program. Program. The program. Program. The program. The the, the program. <laughs> the program. <laughs> It's the the program. program. Those very unhealthy the podcast. Programs. Very unhealthy pro- podcast, everybody. Welcome to the show. All right, real quick. This this is going to be my cold open bit, but then I forgot about it, so I'm going to do it right now. Um, So I went to the store right before we did the show. Um, I went there to get some drinks, and I was just going to buy the drinks because all the snacks are hella expensive. Um, But then they had like a little cart. With like some like gummy sh- gummy bears and shit on it, and I was like, whatever, I'll grab a bag of gummy bears. Um, and then the lady at the counter of the store, um, who is somebody who I've known for many years, um, and is very uh, is always trying to get you to buy more shit. <laughs> she's she <laughs> she's always like, you want you want banana? What the, the two dollar the, the, what what however much the bananas cost? I don't know. She she was on the bananas for a long time. She she had some bananas that she 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 had some banana stock that she really wanted taken off her hands. <laughs> uh, but I I got this bag of gummy bears and she's like, pick another one, uh, two two for three dollar. And I'm like, eh, whatever. I don't want I don't I don't want to shoot her down. So I grab another one. Um, these gummy bears, they looked like they were pretty good. It was like gummy bears with real fruit juice. And it's like, that sounds like they might be decent gummy bears. <laughs> um, and I got gummy bears and I got sa- sour rings, which are also advertised to contain real fruit juice. I ate the gummy bears on the way home. Worst fucking gummy bears I've had in my life. <laughs> they were so bland and shitty and awful. So I've got the, it's the, it's fucking Sweeto is the brand. I'm calling you out, Sweeto. Your gummy bears fucking suck. And I've got the, I've got the sour rings right here. Let's get a live taste test on this. Let's see if their sour rings are as shitty as their gummy bears. Here we go. I've got a, I've got a sour ring in my hand. I'm going in. Yeah, they're just as shitty. Uh- <laughs> they're better because I think I just like sour things more naturally, but they're still shitty compared to other sour rings. Fucking Sweeto, bro. Don't buy Sweeto. Kind of reminds me of the sweetest fish. Sweetest fish are good. You should no, buy they're those. they're not. They're bland. You don't like sweetest fish? All you can taste is the wax on them. <laughs> Is there wax on them? It's the preservatives. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I know, I like them. You ever had the, the Swedish fish flavored uh, energy drink? The, no. the ghost The ghost energy Swedish no, fish flavor? Absolutely not. It's pretty good. No. I would recommend it. I think you're lying. I mean, there's less preservatives in that. It's an energy drink, not a fucking shitty gummy candy. It's got the it's got the essence of the good parts of Swedish fish. Listen, if I wanted to spend my money on gummies, I'd go for the Lifesavers or the the, the um, Jolly Rancher gummies. Lifesaver gummies are pretty high quality. I've never had Jolly Rancher gummies. Are they good? <gasps> you should try them. They have like a few brands, a few a few types. They got like one which is like mainly just fruits, and then they got berries. It's like a ber- berry bl- uh, blend or whatever, and then there's a. Um, Another one, I think it's more citrusy than anything else, and they have one that has like two climbed, like the two half and half ones. It's really, it's really good. Okay, Alex, what are your favorite gummy candies? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like gummy candies, but honestly, <gasps> die blasphemy. Picked off the show. It's over. That's it. Expect a lawsuit in the, in the coming months. Alex, I'm asking you to step down from the podcast. <laughs> would you like would you like the lawsuit to be about lying and implying or pandering and slandering? <laughs> what about this? What about this? What is your favorite uh chocolate? Oh. Answer that question for me. Oh. And then what we'll debate on whether you should boot it or not. Do I have to pick? Yes. Yes. I don't. I don't. Do not say you don't okay. do chocolate either, because oh my lord, dude! I can't do straight chocolate by itself. Like you Hershey bars, oh, it has it has to be combined with something else. Probably Reese cups, like the classic chocolate peanut butter. Yeah, that would be my yeah, answer good, too. So. 
you're chill. <laughs> but like, if you hand me just a thing of chocolate, I would be like, I, I'm not eating this. I can't eat straight chocolate. Sometimes it's, it's a little like too rich, but like sometimes I'll I'll vibe with it. Like every once in a while, you put a nice Hershey bar in front of me. That's gonna be a good time. But it's not something I would just go out and buy. Like if I'm going out and I'm buying like candy for the purposes of having candy, Hershey's chocolate bar straight up is not where I'm looking. But if one is presented to me, I will enjoy it. Hey, who love free candy? Well, yeah, any free candy I'll take. Like, if it's free, then you're good. <laughs> Bro, I miss trick-or-treating. I need to find some some neighbor whose kids I can take trick-or-treating so I can start <laughs> trick-or-treating again. <laughs> Just, uh, if you have, like, a family member, like a cousin or something, take the kid out. I feel like I could just go. Yeah, I feel, you I, I, you're, I, not, you're not... There's no age restriction on Halloween. There's no age restriction. Usually, a lot of people will be shitty about it. But the thing is, like, I'm, I'm known in my neighborhood, and I don't even understand how this happened. There are so many people in my neighborhood who I don't know for shit. Like, I could not tell you their name. I could not tell you anything about them. But they, I'm, I'm like this fun little guy that I walk by, and they're like, "Oh, hey, Riley," and I'm like, "Hey, person, I don't remember at all. How you doing today?" Grew a new neighborhood. (laughs) <laughs> Feel Go that your neighborhood, <laughs> Get so Uber. Like, I'm I'm a charming little character, so I think they <laughs> they would give me candy if I just if I just went out there. Just knock on the door, do a little dance, and then just put a hat out, and they'll either give you candy or money. But either way, it's a win win. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a big hat. Just put on a performance. Or just no, go just put on and an just empty, put a, uh, in the and case. Just a sign that says patreon.com slash detour ahead. <laughs> like the white girls who have their cash tag on the back of their cars just have patreon.com slash you to our head on the back of my car <laughs> I'm not about doing that by the way <laughs> honestly you are a white good. girl so it would work of course makes sense there's plenty of evidence to back that up I don't deny it any longer what's your favorite item at Starbucks <laughs> ew Starbucks uh grande white chocolate mocha Okay, Killer Pup is a is a is a ascended white girl. What 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 do you drink, Killer Pup? Do you drink the Panera lemonade that kills you? Is that what you drink? I you don't go to Dunkin'. I mean, not all the time, but their coffee's not good either. Do you I drink like coffee? The croissant, the, the croissant bris- biscuit sandwich, whatever it is. Okay. Do you drink coffee? I do. But it's more of a frappe than anything else. Where do you get it from? All right, so there's two places. I could do McDonald's frappes, because those are bomb as fuck. And I could do Wawa's cappuccinos, the iced ones. You see, I've never had Wawa's coffee, but I, I their smoothies I will they are for it. So I, I, I trust Wawa as a as a vendor. <laughs> <laughs> like if I had the chance, I'd be going to Wawa like almost twenty four seven. Be honest. I uh, I've I, I have a long standing DoorDash slash Uber Eats addiction. Um, and there was a point where that addiction just became a Wawa addiction. That was all yeah. I would order. <laughs> for me it was mcdonald's if if i'm going on doordash it's a, it's a quick pick it's mcdonald's uh for me now it's usually kfc uh because for some reason kfc is like ridiculously cheap for the amount of food you get you can get like a four-piece chicken combo for like 13 bucks <laughs> whereas that that same that same amount of food at even fucking mcdonald's will run you for like 20 so <laughs> I don't know why KFC is so cheap, but it works for me because I love KFC it, anyway. KFC's so. cheap? It is. It, it's pretty cheap. Is it? You, you, relative to other places now with all the prices going up and shit, KFC is fucking cheap as hell. Interesting. Very. I don't do KFC chicken anymore because for some reason that's like messing up my stomach the more time, more I've eaten it. And I haven't had it in like almost a year now. It's like every time I have it, it's like messing my stomach up. It's like, oh, okay, no. <laughs> it's rare that any like fast food will mess with the stu- my stomach, even stuff that's like famous for it. The only time I can really point to was that one time that I almost died because of Taco Bell, which was uh, chronicled on this very show. 
Uh, but other than that, I don't think I've ever really gotten sick from fast food. Honestly, I haven't gotten sick from fast food, but I've had friends that had gotten sick from it. It's very hard for me to get sick from food in general. When I was like 13, I ate like half raw chicken breast and nothing happened. Gross. Why? What happened was, I had some of those, uh, they sell these like frozen, like breaded chicken breasts that are like stuffed with like shit, like 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 cheese and broccoli, or like they make like a cordon bleu. Oh, you mean the, the cordon blues or whatever it is? Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> those are so good. And uh, I, co- raw. I cooked those, and I pulled them out of the oven, and I took a, my first bite, and I realized there was some some chewy pinkness going on. Oh, Lord. Um, and because I was 13 and stupid, I was just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> and I ate them. Well, that's normal. That's normal. I'll just eat it. Eating it. <laughs> <laughs> I was fine. Oh, Lord. Ugh. See, was, I'm glad like, like, I was a because I would never be, be able to do that. It was like, it was done enough. Like, it was hot. It tasted <laughs> right. It was just a little bit chewy and pink. <laughs> Like almost every time I order McDonald's now, though I have to check my my hamburger meat because my my burgers because it's they always I had one that turned out to be raw still in the center. I was like I showed my mom this and it was like still very very pink and everything like raw pink and it, for some reason just like seeing that it made me so like like I wanted to puke. I was like ill no I'm done with this. You should have sued McDonald's. No, we just went back to uh, McDonald's and got a fresh one and everything. But uh, ever since then, I have, like, this very hint that my meat might still be raw. I just got to check it real quick. <laughs> Even if I, like, taken like, two bites out of it, I still got to look at it. It's like, uh, okay, it's all right. You see, in like, in, like, a real burger, I like some pink. But I feel like that wouldn't translate well in a shitty McDonald's burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> McDonald's like a- burger is just ground beef. That's all it is. It's just frozen ground beef. Well, the frozen shitty ground beef. That's Yeah, like- the cheap kind. Listen, here's how they cook shit at McDonald's, okay? They fucking just, like... <laughs> they throw a bunch of, like, strange, off-colored cubes... That look vaguely like they might be the ingredients to an item into a giant <laughs> box. And the box just goes, and then food comes out. That's how they cook the food at McDonald's. That's what big government doesn't want you to know. Is it real meat, though? That's my question. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. You tell me. No. It's not. (laughs) This is, this is McDonald's slander. De- Demi Gwim would be would be going off her chain right now if she was here. Official, uh, for, former McDonald's worker, of course, uh, 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 always a representative of the <laughs> brand. She she would she she would be very upset with me for for talking 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 smack out of school uh, about McDonald's. Of course, I'm sorry, Demi Gloom, to to hurt your feelings like that. Uh, but <laughs> the disrespect. Uh, th- th- we have like a thing we usually do. Alex, how how you been this week? I'm good. I got distracted. I'm sorry. That's okay. Dare you be distracted? That's kind of rude. It's for a very good reason, but I'm not gonna go into it. Um, I've been you good. Say Today's that good... and then not go in. You shouldn't have said anything at all. You're like, oh, it's a a very good reason, but I'm not gonna say why. And <laughs> now all the listeners are like, me. wait. But we have a very, very special guest, and I don't want to slander this podcast while our special guest is here. I I would like to keep this classy, alright? Slander this podcast? What do you mean? No, it's fine. Don't Just drop it. Just drop it. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Is it a political thing? No, not at all. What happened? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I found out Hitomi Tanaka has a Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't streamed in over a year. All right. Rest so it's peace. unfortunate, but I fell the... into this small little rabbit hole. All right. 
Of course, you got into fucking Hitomi Tanaka. I'm not into Hitomi Tanaka, all right? I was just curious. <laughs> no, don't look up who, don't the look up who the, the Hitomi Tanaka is, everybody. Especially Pub. Nobody look it up. Look it up. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Go yeah, enjoy you're some making me very content. curious about it. Uh, she, she's a star in a certain brand of film. Uh, a, just, a, a, a certain, just a certain particular she, brand of film. She does. You uh, made me bring this up. <laughs> Say what she does, Riley. Friend, how is it spelled? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, sound it out. It's exactly how it sounds. It's exactly I'll how it later. sounds. I'll do later. I will get you an actu- accurate spelling. Let me reopen her Instagram real quick. <laughs> I'll just have to make sure she has the accurate information here. H I T O M I Hitomi. And then. Listen, listen, I'm not going to do it right now. Chill, chill. <laughs> well, you could always listen back to the podcast. It's let's fine. make sure you open a private tab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then right. uh, Tanaka, T A N A K A. Hitomi Tanaka. <laughs> Alex, what's yeah, yeah. What, what's been going on with you this week? You seem you seem pretty stressed out when we when we got together today. No, I'm not stressed at all. Today's a great day. Oh, is it? Today's today's a great day. I'm almost to three beers, which means this podcast is going to be a perfect one. Let's go. No, I'm chilling, fixing fixing problems. I got my car back. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, after spending thirteen hundred dollars getting it fixed, it's finally back in my hands. It's paid off. My car. I have the title that is in my name, and I feel proud about it. I this happened like a month ago, but like I never brought it up. So I am now officially the owner of a car. And it feels Let's good. Oh. How's that make you feel? It makes me feel really old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> not not going to lie because this car took 5 years to pay off, so that just means that I've had this car for 5 years. And it doesn't feel like 5 years, so it makes me feel old. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's reasonable. But I'm not that old. I'm the oldest on the, on this pod on this podcast episode though. I mean, yeah, me and Pup are like almost the same age. Well, you're 22, right? You've you've crossed the the twenty two threshold. Yeah, I'm 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 still twenty one, so I'm 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 the youngest here. Uh, right, but Pop, how old do you think I am? Oh Lord, that how old is, is she? No, no wrong answers. Yeah, you see, that's a lo- when when a woman asks you that, it's a very loaded question, Alex. You have, you have to understand. <laughs> yes, but I'm asking another woman, so I there is a would have to question. say at least twenty five. It's right on the dot, 25. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I was born in 98. Gotcha, gotcha. Old lady. Oh, fuck off. Boomer. Like, bad those questions, bro. Like, I would be so I'm not a boomer. far low I'm or so far higher than that. I'm basically... I'm the same generation as you... You we were born. We were you. born in a different millennia, Alex. We're a, a we're on a different level than you. Crossbred. You I'm, <laughs> I'm an elder Z. That's what they're calling us now. The 98 and 99s Elder Z's. Elders. <laughs> Crossbred. But, uh... The Elder uh, Z's. Y- 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 your mention of your three beers uh, made me curious. I wanted to ask Killer Pup. Because uh, I believe last time we had a genuine conversation, you had not yet crossed the 21 threshold. I think it's been that long. You, you you doing any drinking in in your adult life, Killer Pup? Do you have a relationship <laughs> just, um, with alcohol? Yeah, <laughs> just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you want to talk just about a little or no? bit. Any fun stories? Um, I mean, it was on it was on the internet for a little bit. I I drank a little bit too much on stream, <laughs> and then I ended up passing out, like going getting up and going to bed. Like midstream, and it's been going. It was going on for like six hours straight. I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> you stream on. Uh, what do you stream on? I stream on Twitch. Okay. What the is same it? way? The same way the, my name is spelled on here and everything. Killer Pub. Well, you should plug it for people who don't have eyes. <laughs> Killer you don't Pub. Be K L L R P U P on Twitch dot com. 
Yeah, yeah, we can't we can't discriminate against blind people on Twitch. Do you remember the the blind playthrough <laughs> bullshit? <laughs> the blind well, they ban- they banned the term blind playthrough because it was like ableist or whatever the fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> You're like you can they they can't you can't call it a blind playthrough because there's blind people. It's ableist to do that, I guess, according to Twitch. <laughs> It might not have gone through. I I don't know if blind playthroughs actually been, but I know that was that was definitely discussed genuinely. <laughs> yeah, we can't be ableist on this podcast. This is a very progressive podcast. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, very, very, yeah, very progressive. Yeah, I, I only podcast. have seventy six followers on there, and ev- almost every single social link I have is linked on my Twitch. Well, it it was seventy five, but you know. Ooh, okay. Alex got in there <laughs> immediately. Of course. I want to get back into Twitch. Not streaming, just watching. I haven't fun. streamed as of lately, though. Um, I was going to stream, um, what was it? As soon as uh, Modern Warfare 3 came out, like, came up and, and on air and everything, so I could do the, the campaign, but I've been a little iffy on the campaign lately. Yeah, I kind of left Twitch. Like, I, I, I had a, like, strong emotional attachment to the Twitch platform that kept me there for a long time. Um, and then when I started, uh, the death stream, uh, my old live stream talk show, um, we did the first episode on Twitch and I quickly realized there was going to be too much gamer wordery and, uh, controversial discussion to be we on Twitch. We don't have any of that on this podcast anymore. <laughs> no more. No. <laughs> no, no more. more. When have we said gamer words on this show? <laughs> no more gamer words. We've never said gamer words. This is a very progressive podcast. Yeah, no, the, we don't often say gamer words on my show either. It's just that the, well, you I, don't I think go and defend yourself. Defending I I th- yourself makes you sound guilty. So. I think De- I think Demi Gloom said the R slur once, and I was just like, "Oh God, we're on Twitch. We're on Twitch." Uh oh. <laughs> so so I realized that Twitch was not the place. You see, um, that's bad. in in this in this economy, you can't be that bad. <laughs> it's not allowed anymore. I know. I know. Truly. Uh, crimes that i'm committing here tonight uh you gotta be, but you gotta be like me you gotta be a hero for the less fortunate but for a while i went i i went to just i would switch like i would log in and log out uh from stream labs and deal with it because i wanted to keep streaming on twitch so i would just do i would just stream the death stream on youtube and then everything else i would stream to twitch uh then eventually i just kind of got tired of switching and i also kind of I blew up when the when the Breaking Bad DS video came out, and that resulted in more live stream viewers on YouTube. So I just kind of fully migrated over there. So I've basically abandoned my Twitch at this point, which, you know, it was a ride. It was probably my my longest standing content platform because I was streaming on Twitch like way way back from the fucking Streamlabs mobile app on my phone. <laughs> like even even pre like my podcast career, I was. I do on remember Twitch. your. Your phone era. Streaming, <laughs> streaming everywhere else is a lot easier than streaming on Twitch too. You get a lot more followers on other platforms than Twitch. I heard Facebook is the is like the best place to start off. Uh, oh, Facebook, like Facebook or Live. YouTube. Yeah, Facebook Live, like live streaming on Facebook. Oh, yeah. I heard yeah. that's the best place to go. <clears throat> if but I ever got, like, if I ever bought Twitch, is easier. If I ever bought like the multi stream feature on Streamlabs so I could multi stream my shit, um, I feel like I would just like randomly stream like a Riley Radio Live to Facebook Live just to like horrify all of the like uh like adults in my life that will hire adults, I guess. I'm also an adult. Well that's why uh, you create a that's why you have a brand. Like my brand is Colo Chew, so I'd go create a Facebook account for Colo Chew and stream under that. That's fair. I mean, I kind of have a brand. I don't, I don't go by my full Christian name. I'm I'm Riley Exclamation Point. That's my brand. Yeah, and that's fine. I know. I mean, I I don't know. Just Polo Chew has been a brand since I started this. So fair enough. Fair enough. But pup, how how you been this week? You do anything it's been special? A while. I don't think I've talked to pup here. Fairly special, besides. Having a, apparently a week long break from work because there's no business. Ooh, are you still getting paid? Uh, yes. Sounds like a question. 
<laughs> without without getting in, uh, if you don't mind me asking, without getting into specific company names, what do you don't do? name your job? Like I'm yeah, a, don't name waitress. the job. But what do you do? I'm a, a waitress, waitress okay. slash expediter. Okay, there you go. It doesn't really pay much, but it's a starter. So I got I get all those XP X, uh, XP <laughs> experience. <laughs> You're gaining XP. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like your job? I do. I like uh, not really the job, but I like the people. Perfect. That's that's usually the answer that I get when I ask people if they like their job. They're like, I hate, I don't like my job, but I, I like the people. Don't get too that's attached how to that mentality. With this new that's, job. How I've been, that's how I've been at the same shitty call center for three and a half years. Is I hate the job, but I like <laughs> the people. Don't fall in that trap. Don't fall in that trap. Yeah, but sometimes the job isn't that bad, and you just like I've gotten stuck before where you just. You get to know people, you hang out with them at work, and you just kind of shoot the shit at throughout yeah. the day. And it's just, it's enjoyable to, enjoyable to be around, even if the job kind of sucks. But, I mean, at some point, everybody just, the job just goes, you know what, you've been here for a while? Fuck you. And then you're just like, well, time to find something new. But, if you're in that sweet spot, hey, live in that sweet spot for a while, that's what I say. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna be with this fucking company until I until I flee the state, which will hopefully be next year. I want you I want your goal for next year to get kicked to get your channel banned so you can just restart <laughs> restart life. Riley exclamation point gone out of existence, never to be seen again. Why do you, you want flee this the me? state from DeSantis? That's what you want for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want me to get banned, Alex? Because I think it would be funny and it gets you some clout. Be like, oh, I got banned. I, I'm i part of this group now. Oh, Lord. Forever part of the YouTube banned me. No, I would, I would like, die. I would be, I would be so distraught because I'm so, Go like. Streaming on Rumble. No, like, uh, definitely, like, there are alternatives. I, I wouldn't be, like, done with content at that point. But you, I'm. You gotta go to the outskirts of the town and just I'm yell a, into the town. I'm from a big. Outside. <laughs> I'm a big media preservation guy, so like if all of my content became lost to time like that, I would be fucking devastated. I don't want you to get banned. I was doing a bit. No, I know. I know you're doing. I want a to bit. clarify. I'm very progressive now. We gotta. We gotta I don't want to get banned, but I also kind of do. There is a part of me. Why do you think I I continue to ramp up? Why Why do you think I used to try and ramp up this podcast to see where I could get close to that ban line? You've never done anything bannable on this podcast. Just having a... the wrong person sees the right the right one of our videos, and they just go, "I didn't meet my quota this week for banning videos." And <laughs> it's like cops oh, pulling boy. you over. Oh, I didn't meet my quota for speeding tickets. Oh, you're going fifty and a forty knot. You're going fifty one and a fifty ticket. Arrested. Oh, you didn't pay Life your in ticket prison. within an hour of getting it? Jail. Destroyed. Life ruined. Over. How are you doing this week, Riley? Uh, thanks for asking, Riley. Jesus uh, Christ. So, so. A fucking attention seeker. Wow. <laughs> we have a thing that oh, we do. All about him. All about Riley. We go around and we fucking ask how the week was, and I do it for everybody else, and you do it for me. And we had like fucking two minutes of silence there, and I was waiting for it. And you didn't give it to me, so I, that's like, I didn't know. This is oh, we do Lord. this every time, not every week, <laughs> most of the time, not every time. Okay, all right. You good, Riley? You doing okay? Hey, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Puff. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna be very pedantic about this now. From now on, I'm gonna make a note on my notes for Detour Ahead. <laughs> just Ask right Riley if he's doing okay. <laughs> Anything uh, interesting happen, Riley? Uh, I'll try and co-host this podcast. Don't take this away from me. I'll <laughs> try and undercut me here. Riley, Alex, what have you been up to this uh, Alex, past week? Alex, honestly, I, th I think it's time for you to step down from the show. I think, I think, <laughs> I think, I think, I think uh, me and Killer Pop have it from here. I, 
But uh, yeah, that's a good luck on your end because I'm bad at timing. <laughs> fair, fair. We would just never successfully schedule episodes. <laughs> no, we have not. Yeah, but you see, if you kick me off, I will be the longest running guest in Detour Detour Ahead history. No, I'll, I'll get you passed. No, wait, that doesn't count. Being a host does not count as being a guest. No, if I'm no longer a host, then I'm considered a guest on the episode. No, you're a former host. Any any subsequent time you came on would count as a guest appearance, but all of your I'll just show up every week acting like I'm a host, and they'll be all they'll all be considered guest spots. Okay, so I well, can steal uh, from Penguin Mage. Alex, you're fired. <laughs> Welcome to the show, special guest <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <Here she laughs> undercut <is>. me <laughs> I'll find a trademark for detour ahead no I can't afford to fight that shit I'm the sole <laughs> owner and proprietor of detour ahead incorporated I'd have to, I'd have to start uh, detour coming up copyrighted <laughs> detour ahead dot show dead end <laughs> <laughs> Where you just, once you finish talking about it, the podcast just ends right there. Yield. <laughs> now I'm just naming street signs. <laughs> you can't come up with anything better than Detour Ahead. Yeah. I've tried. <laughs> School <Not> zone. <laughs> School zone. <laughs> I mean, you could, the speed limit podcast where the topics come fast and the Ooh, okay, that's a good one. Copyright called you. Riley, how have you been? <laughs> oh, you know. Regular. This has been <laughs> a this, this has been a big week. See, that's why I want to ask, because you never have anything to update. It's always just ah, oh, it's just been work, man. That's it's been it. a bit it's been a big week for the for the world of video games though. So I've been oh, yeah? paying attention to that. Uh Pokemon we got is coming. Pokemon is coming. That's true. That isn't. I wasn't thinking about that. But Pokemon is cut. When does that come out? Uh, I believe next week. Oh shit! I believe we get it Thursday. Okay. I feel like you're unsure about that though. So I think you. I think you need to check your uh, your scheduling on that date. See if it's correct. You have a better date. Nope. But I think you're incorrect, sir. Killer Pup plays Call of Duty often. You think she's ever touched Pokemon in her life? Come on now. <laughs> I mean, I do play Pokemon Go Pokemon? here and there, but that's like not all the time. Yeah, no, that, 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 that's normie shit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Pup, what, what, what date did I say? I, I just want to make sure that I'm Thursday. stating my sources you said here. Thursday. What date did I say? Thursday? Thursday? Yeah. Thursday's the 14th. Yeah. On scarletviolet.pokemon.com. Huh. The hidden treasure of Area Zero is coming. Discover the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Continue your Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet adventure with this DLC containing two expansions. Part 1, the Teal Mask, now available. Part 2, the Indigo Disc arrives <laughs> December 14th. There you go. You did it. All right. Well, I mean, at least you looked. At least it makes me feel better that you actually looked it up to not make Killer sure Pop. you were just guessing off the top of your head. Killer I'm Pop sorry. destroyed yeah. by facts yeah. and logic. I should have looked this up prior to the episode to be prepared because we don't want to put any mis misinformation out there. Absolutely. Of course. of course. We would never publish false information on the internet. We don't want to talk about 5G waves and... And, Owl, and, and the, problems. the flight flight patterns of bees. <laughs> if you're Mo Diggity, <laughs> what? <laughs> Mo Diggity on the MoCast talked about how the five G waves are messing with the flight patterns of oh. the bees. I thought that was a whole separate problem. No, <laughs> related problem. I mean, I would understand that if those if the shit was actually transmitting actual waves that you can see to affect the the, uh, the flying the bees and shit but I don't believe none of that at all does anything transmit waves that you can see I feel like waves are usually invisible pub heat waves I mean normally yeah but you could see little ripples in the in, in the uh, yeah uh, the stuff I see you can I see, see heat waves 
yeah, you can see the heat waves, the heat coming off the cars or the ground or whatever. Or um, what else can you see? You can see, you can see electricity. Electrical waves. Yeah, the electrical waves. You can see that sometimes. What about the sea waves? Those are real. The sea waves don't count. All right. <laughs> God. <laughs> We're talking about the ones that are invisible normally. Well, what if you're blind? Then the sea you can feel the sea waves, but you don't know if they're if they're visible or not. You can see vibrations sometimes. That's a wave. Riley, <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what were you anyway, saying about the topic. Being- <laughs> What were you talking about? There was some big Vigi game news. Uh, first of all, the the GTA Six trailer came out on Monday. Okay. It's it's coming finally. Not next year, the year after, but at least we see it and it's real now. Uh, I thought it was coming out next year. Nope, twenty twenty five. Oh, okay, gotcha. But uh, I'm gonna be real with y'all. How something real? something off about the visual style. I don't it, it feels weird to me. Something's weird about it. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it looks weird. Like it's like almost photorealistic but not quite in a way that feels a little bit uncanny valley. I need you to explain. I mean, that, that's about the best explanation I can give. It just, it looks that, odd. This game is going to be legendary. We got a hot Latina female protagonist a ready Latina to female. Shoot, up, shoot up the the city. It's, it's, a revolu- it, it's a revolution for a game where you have to look at the main character's ass the whole time to make the main protagonist a hot Latina yeah. girl. I think, that was a, I think that was a great idea. That's um, why they did but, it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the like Bonnie and Clyde story, um, but we only saw like 20 seconds of it, so I can't really give any definitive opinions at this point. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just skeptical. I think it looks weird. I'm not sold on the premise. But who the Bonnie and Clyde story? Uh, What'd you say? Yeah. Who doesn't like a good Bonnie and Clyde? I mean, it just doesn't feel very Grand Theft Auto to me. Partners in Crime is. GTA. That the cr- crime is all about GTA. That's what it's the point. Yeah, but it's not like love crime. It, it, it has it's, to be love crime. It's here, here's three mentally ill people who live in LA. Let watch. Let's watch them rob banks. Like mentally <laughs> ill. Not... Are you are you being mentalist right now? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? I, they're I'm differently. Sorry. They're they're differently able. Differently able. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a progressive podcast. I've said this before. No more hate right. speech on on this podcast. I just find myself if there's like a a a, a deep intrinsic love plot, I find myself skeptical that it's going to be as like biting and satirical of a story as previous Grand Theft Auto stories have achieved. Maybe she kills gonna him. Be, there's going to be too much of a focus on the schmoopy whoopy bullshit. <laughs> Maybe she kills him because he hooks up with one of the strippers in the clubs. Maybe could be. You don't know. Don't the make judgments one against find her. Out is when it comes out. That's true. She's a hot, independent Latina woman. She she don't need no man. Have you seen it's that uh, this white trash looking wife beater wearing white male? There's no reason for him to be the you protagonist of this game. Have you seen that conservative Twitter has been transvestigating the Latina? I'm well, sorry. Of they what, are. What's that word? <laughs> transvestigating. What does that mean? Uh, it's when you look at a woman and you're trying to determine whether she's trans and pointing out possible evidence that she's trans. That means you're transvestigating them. See, that sounds like hate speech. I'm not a part of that. <laughs> Shut up, Alex. <laughs> I'm not a part of that. <laughs> So stupid nowadays. I'm not a part of that. I'm I'm all about protection of the less fortunate, the minorities. Understandable, understandable. But the other big news, fuck GTA 6, all right? Fuck GTA 6, fuck the Game Awards, whatever bullshit happened at the Game Awards, except for one thing that happened at the Game Awards, folks. What happened? We got a trailer. 
for the game that I will buy a PS5 for. It's finally happened. Spider-Man 2 wasn't enough. GTA 6 isn't enough on its own. But this is enough. Alex, we finally got a trailer for Budokai Tenkaichi 4. What's that? Or, or as it's called, as it is actually called, uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Because oh, Lord. It is oh, called. Lord. What, what do you mean, oh, Lord? I understand that from Killer Pup, but what do you mean, Alex? Oh, Lord. We don't need another Dragon Ball game. There's plenty of fuck Dragon Ball you, games. Fuck you. Watch the trailer. It looks fun. It looks like. It, look, <laughs> it, looks like they took, it looks like they took Dragon Ball Super Broly. And just put it in a video game. Like, it Why? looks that good. What what sets this apart from all of the other games that are out there? It looks amazing. What did you think of Dragon Ball Breakers last year? And it's and it's going to have a huge... Uh, it's going to have... It's, gonna, it, it's reported to have a bigger roster than three. Uh, it apparently is going to have a, quote, historical amount of playable characters. Uh, Breakers, I didn't see much of. It seemed like a cool concept, uh, but it didn't it's seem to really caught on. It's literally Dead by Daylight Dragon Ball. That is that is kind of cool. I do kind of like that. Where you're no longer playing as the Saiyan heroes, but the innocent civilians who are just simply just trying to run away, basically. Just trying to live, man. Just trying to live. Apparently, I guess they added Broly as one of the antagonists, along with Cell and Frieza. Well, they're going to have, like, every Dragon Ball character you can think of, because it's Budokai Tenkaichi. I'm talking about Breakers, bro. Oh, Breakers. Is Broly in Breaker? I thought it was just, like, Cell. Nah, bra- bra- it's the one-year anniversary. I think they added Broly into the game. Okay. I know it's Cell and Frieza. But I think I they think added Frieza Broly. Was, I always thought the premise of the game was that it was like that part of Dragon Ball Z where Cell is running around absorbing people in cities and your people in those cities. Like, I thought that was the whole game. I didn't know that Frieza was involved and I definitely didn't know that Broly was involved. No, 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 no. See, that's misinformation right there, Riley. We don't do that here. I understand. I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> I think you should be. Uh, but. Yeah, you know, video games, they're they're nice. I I've, I've been replaying GTA 5. Uh that, I, it's been it's been a move I've been considering for a while. There there are a couple things that I do every once in a while. My my comfort rewatches or replays that I that I do occasionally. I'll I'll rewatch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'll rewatch Death Note. My name is Earl. Or I'll le- replay Grand Theft Auto Five is also on my list, and I, I I finally I pulled the trigger on it. I've been feeling it. I've been feeling the itch. Kind of ignored it for a while, but I'm back in it, folks. I, I I've returned to Los Santos, and it's it's been it's been a good time so far. Always always a fan of Grand Theft Auto Five, one of my favorite games of all time. Have you actually finished it though? Yeah. What do you think replaying means, Bob? <laughs> well, sometimes I think of replaying as putting it down and never picking it back up until you actually get a chance to. That That's fair. Uh, no, I'm referring to replaying the whole story mode. I have finished it. Although, by, mo- by most people's definition, the answer would probably be no, uh, because GTA V uh, has this fun little feature where you don't actually have to play the game uh, because you can literally skip any mission that you want. I didn't do that most of the time. It's just that I'm too stupid to figure out how to operate an aircraft in Grand Theft Auto V, so I just <laughs> skip every mission in which I have to operate an aircraft. <laughs> But those are the best. What are you talking about? You can't figure out how to do it. How do you fucking what? make a helicopter move right? How do you fucking fly the plane the right way? I can't Up down figure left, it right, out. Buddy. Up Maybe. Down left. Not that simple. <laughs> Up. It's not that simple. Down. Left. And right. It is a how 3D are you gonna work on, vehicle. How, how are you going to practice on learning how to do flying the fucking planes and shit if you're not even gonna play anything on them. I try it usually, and then I just kind of get frustrated. <laughs> a lot of the shit is particular as hell. There's a mission where the, the mission where fucking Trevor uh, like appropriates a Meriwether jet 
you have to fucking fly right into its hole. And it's like so particular that I just like, I can't make it happen. It's fucking impossible. But it's not. And the thing about the helicopters is I can never land them right. Like I've, I've had missions. I've had helicopter missions where I've made it through most of the mission. Fine. And then I fucked up the landing so many times that I just skipped it. <laughs> Pussy. Doesn't Listen. even know how to drive a helicopter. Yeah, I know. P- real pussy shit for real. Uh, but anyway, we're almost an hour in and haven't even reached our topic, so we better fucking <laughs> we better get going. <laughs> Riley, what's our topic for today? I thought you were gonna say it. I just asked you the question. I was talking about guilty pleasures today, folks. It's an Alex original right there. I thought she would want to introduce her own topic. I thought she would want to show and tell it to the class, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll do it All for right. her. Yeah, guilty. Pleasure. I guess I'll kick this off just to give you guys a little bit of a premise of like kind of like what I'm talking about. So guilty pro- pleasures, right? I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't have any stats. I don't, I don't care for stats. I'm gonna look up stats later. I don't. I don't. I don't give a shit. Right. Sure. So the one I wanted to bring up was from my Spotify wrapped for 2023 this year. My number one song, a guilty pleasure of mine that a lot of people like, but I get shit for constantly. The top song is the opening to the kids show, Bluey. Fucking god damn it. (laughs) Oh my god. And the top artist, going back to how we were talking about how I am a white girl, <laughs> is Taylor Swift. Of course. Bluey is a very good show. It's amazing. It's got good music. The kids are <laughs> adorable. The dad and the way the dad and the mom interact with their kids is amazing. The story writing is great. There's a lot of emotion behind every episode. It teaches kids how to get along with other kids while also teaching them very important things in life. I want to I, I want to kill Bluey and his whole family. Her her, her whole family, my bad. I want to I, I want to kill the whole fucking <laughs> the whole Bluey household. Just fucking lay waste to to the to the whole, the whole thing, the whole world, any character that's ever appeared in Bluey, I want them at the end of my fucking snub Including Muffin, over. the ADHD-ridden yes. child. Listen, Bluey isn't around. that bad. I just can't watch it all the time. So you've seen it. You know what, Alex? Not only does that include Muffin, especially Muffin, Muffin in particular. Oh, see, now Penguin's not going to become friends with you. Penguin's <laughs> not going to be friends with you anymore. Why don't you like Muffin? I don't even know who Muffin is. Just every Bluey character needs to die. I will lay waste to them all. What's wrong with Bluey? Honestly, I have that same feeling, but only for Spongebob. How dare you? No, no, no. How dare you? What did Mr. Krabs ever do to you? Spongebob <sighs> should have ended back in the 2000s, buddy. Spongebob should have ended the first episode that came out. All right. <laughs> Ooh. That's Classic Spongebob there. is one of the best shows out there. Ugh. I can't stand it. I just don't like it. It's it's so stupid. It makes me want to puke. All right. Are you, have you seen, like, the real classics, though? Yes, I just don't like it. I don't like the art style. I don't like it at all. I don't know. I don't like the sponge same I am. <laughs> <laughs> I do just, not like him in the house. Me. I do so not like much him. for some reason. Just Spongebob entirely. With a mouse. I I'm I can't hear anything right now. You guys are probably talking and I'm talking over you. Oh shit. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> so what exactly about Spongebob do you not like? Just, like did you not grow up watching Spongebob as a kid? No, I grew up watching Blue Clues and shit like that. I love you, Blue Clues. She grew up watching Barbie's Dream House. She's a girl. Ooh, Come on. Not really. Blue's Clues is... I grew up watching dinosaurs and cars and stuff like that. Hell yeah, based. I was more outside than watching shows, though. Just playing in the trees. <laughs> Getting dirty. Planes, planes and automobiles. 
Transformers, stuff like that. Yep. But Damn. my main thing was Jurassic Park. Anytime that was that ca- that came up, I'm always sitting there in front of the screen just watching it. I've How did you feel it. about the remix with Chris Pratt? The the newer movies with uh Chris Pratt. Oh, you How'd mean you Jurassic World? This? Yeah, Jurassic World. They were all right. I've seen the new one too. It was it was all right. The Isn't only it? the only movie in the Jurassic uh, franchise that I've ever seen is the second Jurassic World movie that I just randomly caught in theaters one day because it was one of those times where my grandma was just like, we're going to go to the movie theater, pick a movie. And I was just like, OK, it's not really anything out that I'm super into. I guess I'll see this Jurassic World movie. Uh, and the movie was mostly really stupid. Except for that one scene that I will think about for the rest of my life where the T-Rex kind of, I don't know if it was, T-Rex, it was some kind of dinosaur who's about to kill like the, 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 the mean bad guy. And he, he kind of like, I don't think he, dir- he actually winks to the camera, but he basically winks to the camera. He's, he just looks, looks right at the audience. He's like, I'm about to get this motherfucker. He doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? No, that was great. That was the only part that I that I remember liking a lot. The rest of it was stupid. I guess another guilty pleasure or hyperfixation. I guess I can expand it into hyperfixations as well. Would be I've talked about this enough. Oh, if it's hyperfixations, I've I've got them ready to fucking machine gun out. <laughs> But uh, Hyperfixation would be a podcast featuring Dick Masterson, anything about that. I'm not going to go on and on about that. Uh, Riley, or I guess one one of you, I don't want to <laughs> leave our very lovely guest out of the conversation here. What's up? Uh, hyperfixations or guilty pleasures? What's something you've been uh, obsessed about lately? Something that you just you just you just can't put down. Okay, so I'm gonna go first because that's actually a good one for me <laughs> and a crime. To be honest, <laughs> my guilty pleasure is robbing local gas stations. <laughs> <laughs> I just but, I just can't um, get enough of the the fear in those people's eyes. For for <laughs> me, all right, my hyperfixation <laughs> for like this year or god knows how long maybe a few months or so is um um uh, modern warfare 2 okay and the new one and i kind of spent quite a bit on the game modern warfare 2 just for bundles and shit like that (laughs) like thankful i'm not gonna say the exact price but it's over 500 jesus christ and that's been like a huge hyperfixation for me. It, it used to be Sea of Thieves or Red Dead or something like that, but not anymore. <laughs> it kind of became huge, more of an obsession, obsession than anything else. I gotta, I gotta say, it, it's become at this point. Whenever Call of Duty comes up, it's become the the Simpsons meme where where the classroom is gathered around Bart and they're like, "Say the line," and then it's the the thing that he says from the episode where he was famous for the one line that he said. Uh, but whenever Call of Duty comes up, I, I, I'm obliged to say that I think that Call of Duty is mostly an entirely samey franchise, and to that point, it is only as valuable as 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 valuable as the gameplay feels. Uh, and they pre- they perfected that in Black Ops One. So every game before or since is completely obsolete, and that is my opinion on Call of Duty. False. Black Ops One is the good one. False. Cold War was Black great. Ops One. I've only played Black Ops Two and Zombies, and then as of uh, 2021, I had by Modern Warfare Three or Modern Warfare Two. And then it just progressed from there on, from Modern Warfare, Civil War, Vanguard. Is there a Call of Duty Civil War? Yes. Wow. Yes, there is. Did you play Cold War? Uh, yeah. Isn't it? Uh, sorry. <laughs> That's what Wait, is Cold War, is. War what Cold you were War. talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was like, there's no, no way they made game. a Call of Duty Civil War. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Civil War. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cold War was great. I definitely I played the hell out of it. It was the first one I ever played on PC. So, but I I didn't buy another. I don't think I bought another one since then. Honestly, I played Black Ops One, Two, and Three. I've played Advanced Warfare. I played a couple of the old Modern Warfares. I think I played Ghosts once. And Black Ops 1 is the the best one and the only one worth playing. I do have Black Ops 1 for the original X for the 360 on disc and it makes me feel really happy about myself. A very good it makes, game. It makes me feel proud knowing that I have a physical copy of that nowadays. I have a lot of physical copies of PS3 games that I can't play anymore because my disk drive doesn't work anymore, and I'm going to kill myself in Minecraft. Get it fixed in Minecraft. <laughs> I don't want to spend money on my fucking PS3. <laughs> well, it'd be in Minecraft, so it should be fine. That's right? fair. That's fair. Let's go find some diamonds. It only takes a couple hours to go find some, especially with the uh, the new updates that have been coming out lately. I have, to give the, I have to give a villager some emeralds to repair my PS3. There you go. And Minecraft. Uh, Riley, some hyperfixations, guilty pleasures? Alright, folks. Here's my guilty pleasure. Uh, Exercise. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That's, that's a real it's good too one. Much. You just can't get enough of it. I love exercise so much, bro. Every day, I'm fucking, I'm crunching it. I'm fucking lifting. I'm fucking doing leg day all day. It's it's leg month when I <laughs> when I fucking do it. I'm, when I'm, my hyperfixation hits, you know it's leg month every month. <laughs> Go ahead. What is it, Power Rangers? Well, that's a hyperfixation for sure. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I, I, that is definitely a very large hyperfixation. It has been for my entire life. I've had three, three main hyperfixations that have dominated my entire life. There are a few more that I might bring up later if we continue this conversation. But here's the three, the three tenets of hyperfixation for me: Pokemon. Dragon Ball, Power Rangers. Those are the ones. <laughs> Those are the ones that for my entire life have, have gripped me, have been my entire personality <laughs> for, for as long as I can remember. <laughs> they're all really good. They mean a lot to me. They, uh, they're, they're, the, their meaning has only increased recently as I've become more, I've become more deeply in, entwined into like the emotional, uh, the emotional like undertones and like care deep character arcs of everything that I watch, even if it seems like it doesn't have any of that shit, I always find it. Uh, like if you'll recall, I did this, we did a whole fucking like three hour podcast about Ash Ketchum, and I talked a lot about my appreciation for Ash Ketchum as a character and like all of his like traits and nuances. Uh, so that's been, <laughs> I guess that's another hyperfixation is just like. Finding deep character shit where most people would tell you it doesn't exist. <laughs> like, I'm having conversations about, like, character arcs in Power Rangers, whereas most Power Rangers fans are just like, I want to see this guy punch this guy. I'm just like, no, I really like it when uh, this character uh, goes through this development where they realize that, <laughs> just like, I'm I'm focused on the wrong shit <laughs> where, you, where you ask most people. But I... So that's me. I guess I another one for me would be Pokemon. Of course. I don't think it's considered... I think it's evolved into a passion at this point. A hobby. Not hobby. That's fair. I think it's just a passion at this point. It's it's part of my personality. If Pokemon went bankrupt all of a sudden, I, I don't know what I would do. It's the only <laughs> thing that gets me to buy new consoles uh it's the only thing that gets me to play video games nowadays i don't really play many video games because apparently it's i'm a me. boomer now 
That's literally me. I can't focus on a video game for more than like an hour or two at I a time. I haven't touched Dragon Quest since the last time we recorded this podcast. I, I can't focus on a video game for more than an hour or two at a time, except for when the new Pokemon generation drops. <laughs> Once the new generation drops and the DLC or a new game, boom, Pokemon, day in, day out. Although for me, it's not even like... Home play Pokemon. It's not even all po. It used to be any Pokemon, but now it's like just when the new gen drops. Like even like I haven't played the DLC yet. I haven't beaten Legends Bro. Arceus. <laughs> Bro, go play Teal Mask DLC. I'm telling you, the sto- There's more story in the TLC in the DLC of Scarlet and Violet than there is in all of Sword and Shield. I'm telling you. That's an extremely low bar that you're pitching me here. <laughs> All right, pup, do you want to, real quick, do you want to plug anything before you have to go? Oh, does she have to go? Yeah. Because I know you plugged your Twitch channel. I don't know how often you stream, but we can plug it for you if you'd like. Got it, got it. All right, if you want to follow <laughs> pup, she doesn't stream that often, but it's killer pup on Twitch. We talked about it earlier. Uh, anyway, thank you for coming on the podcast. I appreciate it. Great guest. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your night. All right, Riley. Hi, can, up. Yo, would you like up? to continue? Would you like to continue what you were talking about? Wait, what was I talking about? Pokemon. Oh, oh I yeah. was telling you about. Sorry, I was telling you about the DLC. There's more story in the DLC Teal Mask than there is in all of Sword and Shield. In terms of depth. That's fair. You need to go play it. It's good. Penguin played through almost all of it, as far as I'm concerned. Fair enough. The Get Out of Saffron Girl played through a lot of the DLC. Part of me want. Part of me is like I have to deny myself the DLC. I feel like next time, next time I pick up Pokemon that I have not played before, it's got it's got to be Legends Arceus. I gotta beat it. <laughs> There's more story in there than anything. It's the most story heavy game ever, and I love it. What I've played, I love. I just have this awful fucking attention span and awful fucking instinct to just put everything off forever, and I just never got that far. I think the last fucking, the last whatever fucking boss Pokemon, whatever they're called, I fought was Lilligant. Noble Pokemon. That's the first one. No, Lilligant wasn't the first one. Lilligant is the first one. No, it's not. Certainly not. What's the first one? First one was... Fuck, what was it? It wasn't Lilligant, because Lilligant is like a few in. Uh, But what was the first one? Fuck. I don't fucking remember. Lilligan is number two. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Lilligan is number two. I'm telling you. Well, I'll be damned. Why do I feel like I fought more than that? Cleaver, Lilligan, and then there's three more. Oh, there's only five? Then, yeah, probably that's accurate. There's five areas. I think I'm like part of the way through the the Arcanine storyline is where I left off. Go play Pokemon, loser. I will. Someone bought you the DLC. You should at least go play that. You're right. That's how that works, doesn't it? Someone buys you something, you're obligated to play it. That is how Sun and Moon happened and how I fell in love with that game. (laughs) Is Penguin bought it for me and then I played it because Penguin bought it for me. And then Penguin bought you the DLC as well. You're right. So, DLC number two is coming out. You can't play two until you play one. I have to build, Continued I'm have story. To build a whole new team because the levels are lower than they should be. Not exactly. Okay. It's same as Sword and Shield. There is level scaling. They don't evolve the Pokemon, but yeah, but it, yeah, they and they don't evolve the Pokemon. So there you fucking go. If, if you'll recall, I had a lot of issues with the level fifty Shanks, um, and if I'm going to be seeing that again, I don't know. <laughs> well, the wild Pokemon are all like sixty plus, though. I don't know. I had fun. I don't think I had any criticisms about the DLC. Interesting. All right, here's another guilty pleasure. 
pissing. Hi. Your guilty pleasure is pissing, correct? <laughs> the the joke is that I said that and then I got up to piss. You didn't have to explain your joke. I'm pretty sure our highbrow audience got it. Because okay. our audience is very progressive. <laughs> God damn it. Very pro LGBT, pro Biden, pro everything. We're pro everything now. I support everybody. Is, it, is Donald Trump your guilty pleasure, Alex? <laughs> Donald Trump is my guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted. I still have. I asked mom and so I don't know if you remember when I was looking up the store and I told you I was going to get mom and dad to buy me something for Christmas. Yeah. They're both not, they both don't like Donald Trump and they told me no. (laughs) (laughs) Of course, of course. They told me no. They're like, we're not giving Trump any money. They're like, what you do with your money is fine, but we're not endorsing him by buying his merch. And I'm like, ah, that's fair. I'm like, I, I can't cri- I can't criticize someone who says we're not doing that. But it doesn't sound like they're being very progressive. No. But, um, let's see. What else do I have? Drinking. Drinking is a guilty pleasure of mine. Yeah. On numerous occasions on air, I have been drunk. I suppose the same could be said of me and weed, then. That is fair. I was not going to bait you into saying it. I was going (laughs) to gloss over it. I'm done, okay? It's over. I'm out of leftovers, and I'm not buying more, because I'm going to start putting money away. It's time. and I'm not going to waste it on weed. We also don't want a rehash of last week. Last week, last week I was on, like, way too many edibles like that that was a rare if i release the full episode i won't i'll just do it at a future live show I, we after were a you ca- sue me we were a little cagey about it in the announcement but i guess i'm just letting it fly now yeah that's what happens i took way too many edibles because i big for gore well that's fine i mean i wasn't <laughs> trying to bait you into it i all i was gonna say was you were sleepy yeah, no, no, no. I, I did it to myself. I'm not. It's not your fault. But yeah, that's what happened. Folks. I'm a progressive now. It can't be my fault. I'm. The, I'm a victim. I took too many edibles, and I had my Walter White crawl space moment live on air. So we we cut At it out. Point, okay. At what point are you going to call me out for my bullshit this episode? Because you've been letting this go, and it's kind of bothering me that you're just letting me go on and on about being a progressive now for about yeah, because that's the bit. Like it's the same. It's the same. It's the same thing as like the leave my chickens alone, or like the fucking small. Yeah, this has been going on for an hour. I've never yeah. been a bit longer than an hour like this. I feel I like we always you do that. Stop me at, at at a certain time. I feel like we did that with chickens, and then we did that with the with small picture. Like I, there was just another one of those. <laughs> I I thought you were gonna stop me after I said calling X Twitter is dead naming them. No, I, I thought, thought you would have stopped me after that. I thought it was funny. Because I am 100% on record saying I refuse to call it X and it's going to be forever Twitter. That's that's stupid. I hate people who turn it into some fucking gay crusade. X prefers Twitter now wants to go by X. So we must respect their decision to go by X. Not respecting them is being homophobic understandable have a nice day have a great day <laughs> oh man i had a lot of energy dick masterson is right three beers and you are per- you're perfect you're 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 shooting for the fucking moon and stars baby yeah my i guess another uh, some hyper fixations i get into i've had some internet hyper fixations uh Dick Masterson is one of them to an extent, uh, but I think uh, relative to some other stuff, he's kind of uh, small potatoes. Uh, where I discovered who I discovered Dick Masterson through <laughs> is a whole different story. Uh, I I am a I'm a large fan, perhaps a hyper fixator on Monkey Jones. I'm waiting for our Dickheads podcast episode to go up at some point. 
Mm-hmm. And for someone to call you a retard for your hot take on Maddox. What, because I think he's waiting. funny? Because you enjoy his content. I'm waiting for... Someone's going to call you a retard, buddy. Yeah, I, I also said I, I said I liked Pot Awful, too. Like, I'm not, I'm not really making any, making any f- f- uh, friends with the same opinions in the dick show community. <laughs> I know, but, I'm just, I'm, this is more so just a formal warning that somebody's going to call you a retard. That's fair. That's understandable. You have to be prepared for that. I have to be ready. Uh, but... Didn't Dick Master- Masterson call you something stupid? He called me. He did call me a retard once. <laughs> so he's probably going to call you a retard again, especially with these hot takes. Well, no, it was different because when I said it then, it was like I was saying that like I endorsed both of them. Ah, well, well is, yeah, I mean that that is definitely not the case. I I think that Maddox is a scumbag. I just think he makes the funny podcasts like. <laughs> I don't know, man. He he make it anyway. funny, funny, funny internet videos and podcasts. Uh, but he's he's still a scumbag, so happy sack of shit, cuck. Anyway, I guess this is the best place to plug. Uh, Riley and I are now the two co-hosts of the Dickheads podcast. I am the newest host. Riley is the returning host. Yes, the Dickheads podcast is back. Mo is out. Alex is in. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time, and in the coming episode, whenever Riley gets it out, it'll we... probably it'll probably be out long before. I know, but I'm still thinking that we're doing this on Tuesday. It's Friday. Never mind. It'll probably be out. This comes out on Tuesday. That's why I said it said when it no, comes it, it out. It comes out on Wednesday, but it's I'm I'm thinking like we're recording on Tuesday. It comes out at Wednesday. It, there used to be an eight day turnaround for this show, and that was still in my mind. So I was like, it'll be out way before this. Uh, but I yeah, uh, there's no longer thinking. an eight day turnaround. There's now only a five day turnaround. Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking. So like it it might be out before this. It'll probably be out before this. Anyway, when or if it when it comes out. If it hasn't already, by the time you are listening to this, Riley and I discussed the most recent Maddox video on his YouTube channel where he puts a hit piece out on Dick Masterson. Go listen to it. We cover a lot of the things that he talks about. This is not the podcast for us to talk about it. Yeah, Go listen you, to the Dickheads podcast. If you care about the Dick show, you can listen to the Dickheads podcast hear us talk about it. Uh, but so means... That a lot of the dick ha- the dick show conversations will now be moved over to the dickheads podcast. Yeah. So, so we if can you don't like me ruining our show, I, I, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna flood this show. I'm not gonna flood Detour Head with Dick Masterson content. I'm still gonna talk about it a little bit, but we're not gonna have full blown conversations about it. We're gonna have that. We're gonna move all that over to the new the new show, the returning show. So. Yeah. Uh, so so hyper internet hyperfixation, uh, Monkey Jones. I've probably watched. He, I've probably watched at least like seventy five percent of literally everything this man has put on the internet, uh, and that's like a lot of videos and podcasts and shit. Like he's all over the place, um, and I am I'm very into all of it. Uh, and then there's there's Trixie as well, Trixie the Golden Witch, the artist formerly known as Digibro. Uh, I've been following her. Uh, I I followed her for years too. Mo- Monkey and Trixie both, and and my favorite content from both of them is the show they did together for that brief beautiful time. Uh, and I I'm just I'm very I'm obsessed with both of them. Uh, the, tri- the weird thing about Trixie though is like. With Monkey, I put out literally everything he puts out. Uh, with Trixie, her her like main thing is like anime analysis, like scripted videos, or at least it was for like most of her career. Um, and I really haven't watched most of her shit there, but like I, her podcasts are are what I'm fucking obsessed with. Like her as a podcaster, the the, the procrastinators podcast, insufferable social media argument, uh, probably uh, these second best podcast of all time uh it probably pales in comparison to biggest problem but it to to me i i I, it's like i i I acknowledge the biggest problem is the best podcast insufferable social media argument is my favorite pod you you know you you know i mean so it's it's a sentimental value (laughs) 
Understandable, understandable. Fair, fair argument. Fair, fair very, point. A very good show that I don't recommend anybody listen to because it, it goes, it, it's too edgy for most audiences. Very unhealthy program. Very unhealthy program. <laughs> Not not as not anywhere near as progressive as this year podcast. It's a very progressive podcast. We don't like ableism. Very progressive podcast where we've only we said the name word card five times so far. R slur. Excuse me. <laughs> where we've said the R slur five times already. And what is that R slur? Uh, for the Retard, folks at home, obviously. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the R slur. Man, we got to be progressive. We we can't say those words. Those words Man, aren't for us anymore. If Devin Gloob hears it, she hears this, she's gonna waggle her finger at me so hard. I'm gonna for get so what? finger waggled. The R word. Yeah. Well, that's on you, buddy. That's not my fault. You're the one. You you said it first. <laughs> so you don't have to say it. You're a cis white male. You're not allowed to say any words that are derogatory toward another person. But I'm. No, I'm not going to go there. That makes it worse. Better than everybody? Is that what you're going to say? Are you no. better? Are you better? I was going to say I'm really. I, I was going to say I'm really stupid, so I'm allowed to say. It. <laughs> go take an IQ test. If it falls below a hundred, you have every right to. Your R, your R slur pass. I do wonder if I took an IQ test, it would be bad because, like. I think I had a really high IQ when I took it as a kid. And, like, some people are like, it doesn't change, bro. Uh, but, like, we'll see about that. <laughs> I'm sure it does. My br- I actually feel like my brain has deteriorated to a significant degree since I was young. And that thought really fucks with me. I, I, there was this phenomenon where, like, I was, like, smart beyond my years in my, like, young days, like, in elementary school. Um, and then it just, like, stopped. And then middle school started to get a little too hard. <laughs> and then from, from, from there, it you were was consuming just too much Power Rangers. Fair, fair. Remember the study that I brought in? Power Rangers makes children, children more violent, and violence causes low IQs. I was going to say there, autism, there go. but I realized that YouTube would have put... Violence violent. causes autism. <laughs> I had to stop because I figured that's just as bad as saying 5G waves cause a whole bunch of shit, alright? You can't specify well, what it, it is. Or it's, else 5G it's, wa- wa- it's 5G waves in, con- in conjunction with certain other things. Like COVID vaccine. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> I took the vaccine and I'm fine. Me too. However, I also did come out as trans no more oh, than a year later. Oh, the vaccine later. turned you trans! The vaccine turned you trans! <laughs> we gotta get Matt Walsh on this right now. <laughs> Who the hell is Matt Walsh? Ben Shapiro needs to be on this with me. Daily Wire? Get, get in here. Me would never talk to me if I had Ben Shapiro on this show. Never. If we could get Ben Shapiro on this show, it, it's it's worth the uh, it's worth losing Demi Gloom over. I think <laughs> if we could get fucking Ben Shapiro ben. will come on this show, I w- I will I'll stop being trans. I'll just I'll stop. I'll I'll go to Mike Pence's. We'll we'll, we'll have Matt Walsh on. We'll have Matt Walsh on, and he'll say, "What is a woman?" And then you'll just show him your Spotify Wrapped, and he'll be like, "Oh, that's what a woman is." I finally when understand. Do you, Riley? Ask me the question. Uh, what is a woman? Yes, ask me that question. I'll give you Alex, an answer. What is a woman? Someone who listens to Taylor Swift. They, you see, that was the joke that I made. Yeah. But I'm giving you a definitive answer. If there you, you listen to Taylor Swift, you are a woman. Well, guess I gotta go t- Gay men my don't dick like off. Taylor Swift. Gay men don't like Taylor Swift. Only women. Guess I gotta go cut my dick off, guys. I'll join you. <sighs> solidarity. <laughs> solidarity. <laughs> we need solidarity. <laughs> getting our getting our dicks cut off in solidarity. 
I don't know say what you're doing it, but I have a pretty good reason for it. People say dicks out for Harambe. I say dicks off for Harambe. We're going one step further. Dicks off sh- for Shapiro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> dicks off for Shapiro, baby. Dicks, dicks off for Walsh. <laughs> Who the hell is Matt Walsh? You've never heard of Matt Walsh? No. He made that movie. What is a woman? I don't know that movie. You don't know about what is a woman? I know that there's no definitive answer for the question, what is a woman? Yeah, the Daily Wire. The Ben Shapiro's company, The Daily Wire. There's also a guy named Matt Walsh, and he's another like conservative guy. Uh, a he, legend? A hero? Of course, of course, of course. Um, and he made he made an, uh, a, a film called What is a Woman? Where he, I'm sure every, everything you talked about in that movie is true. I'm glad that you, a trans woman, feel that way. <laughs> Women are terrible. I'm terrible. <laughs> that I don't think that was his point. I think his point was that you can't the trans women aren't real was the main point that he was trying to make. <laughs> I mean, I could also go pull up the call to prayer. Oh well, and just start yelling that I should be wearing a hijab. I will put on the hijab! God, I've thought so much about going on the dick show, telling him, like, going out to L.A. and being on the dick show and just playing it off and telling him I'm a trans woman and then just showing up in a head job. She's she's more parasocial than me. She's talking about flying to L.A. and shit. Riley, do you know how funny that would be to get into the dick show community, make a name for myself? Fly out to L.A., ask Dick Masterson if I can go to the studio and and do an episode with him, and show up wearing a full hijab as a trans woman. I'm just going to show up at Dick Masterson's front door. It's just going to be like, he's just going to look at his fucking doorbell camera. It's going to be like, either that or I'll show up in a big, show up as a trans woman wearing all Trump gear. It's either, oh. I wonder if I could find a. All right, you got you got to stop parasocially fantasizing about going on the dick show. I wonder <laughs> oh, if I, I could find a Trump branded hijab. Oh my god! I think that's the that's the ultimate goal. I mean, if you're looking to make America great again, look no further. Repeal the Nineteenth Amendment. I should yeah. I shouldn't be able to do what the Nineteenth Amendment says. Nobody over, nobody under 30 should vote. Only 30 and up. If you can be president, you can vote. Is that, is that fair? Yes. Would you, would you go out in public in a repeal the 19th Amendment shirt? Yes. It has to be a crop top and heels though, too. (laughs) Or like, like a, a skater skirt riding down the street on a skateboard. With a repeal the nineteenth amendment shirt, we should do a challenge for the show where we both have to go to a like a populated bar in a repeal the nineteenth amendment shirt and just talk about what happened. Dude, I'll do it at a convention, bro. I'll I'll get <laughs> someone to film me. No, I'll I, do I can't. It. I, I can't afford Hold a fucking convention. YouTube video about this. I can't afford a convention. I'm trying to set realistic. Uh, <laughs> Probably, I work conventions. I get in for free. Yeah, but I would have to get into Ohio <laughs> would be the, the price point there. <laughs> you don't have to film me. I'll ask one of my friends. I'll be like, hey. I'm saying this is a challenge we would both do for the show, though. So I'm saying a bar because that's something we could both get to for not a lot of money. I still want to have a drinking competition with you at some point in time. I feel like your tolerance in terms of weight and my tolerance in terms of alcoholism are two for are like two in- unstoppable forces. But you would win a drinking contest because I can't like drink. Like we would either have to buy like the fruitiest, gayest drinks in existence, or I just like wouldn't get them down. Your choice. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Your choice, buddy. Twisted tea. Let's knock them back, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Go ahead. I hate twisted tea, so that puts me at a disadvantage. You don't like twisted tea? No, twisted tea is gross. Huh. I do Trulies. 
They're not like sweet enough. They're sweet enough for you to pound six in a row in an hour. Not to me. <laughs> My shit needs to be sugary as hell. Perhaps a perhaps a Mike's. You like a Mike's? What flavor? I don't think I've ever had any flavor besides like regular. Gross. We'll figure the details out later. You okay. do realize that will 100% be a bonus YouTube video, right? If we do a drinking contest together? Of course, of course. Can I find Repeal the 19th Amendment shirts? Is that a thing on the internet? It has to be out there. If not, I'll just go to, like, fucking Custom Inc. I'd probably have to wear an undershirt, because I'm pretty sure they only go up to, like, 4X, but... Repeal the 19th Amendment shirt? Dude, there's plenty. Of course, of course. Oh, here's one on Amazon. <laughs> should I should I go buy a shirt that says voting like a girl since 1920? <laughs> That's pretty good. What's this? Oh, this one looks pretty cool. If it loads. Yeah, it's literally just repeal the 19th. And it's just an eagle with a bunch of flags. That's pretty cool. Oh, is this a woman wearing the shirt? Oh, they got women to write to wear the shirt. Yes. <laughs> a lot of women probably don't want to vote. Too much responsibility. No, it's too, it's way too much responsibility, bro. I like how every episode it just it just gets worse. <laughs> Here's the mutual, the official guilty pleasure of Detour Ahead: hating women. Like with Brad, Brad, the Brad episode, I was afraid was going to get taken down. And then we had Robin talking about porn. Smut, excuse me. And here I am saying, repeal the 19th Amendment. I'm going to wear a Trump hijab. <laughs> Alex, you get afraid of episodes getting taken down way too easily. This is, for, for reference, this is the first episode of Detour Head that I'm concerned will get taken down. This one? Yes. Why? Because we were saying a lot of uh, things that could be construed as medical misinformation earlier, and we have had a mocast taken down for that. <laughs> like, I conveniently came out as trans a year after taking the vaccine? Yes. Is that what you're worried about? That vaccines... Oh, wow, you really... You're, you're are really... Causing, <laughs> causing <laughs> problems? Is that what you're afraid of? Perhaps. Are you afraid that there's a coincidence between me coming out as trans <laughs> and also taking the vaccine? Wow, you're really trying it. I'm not saying any of the key words. I'm, j I'm asking questions here. I'm being intuitive here. Provocative, I, I guess you could say. Is that what you're implying? Yes. Me? <laughs> <laughs> take this down for medical information i have not claimed anything at all yeah, these are uh, we're kidding no <laughs> we're fucking kidding no what do you mean no you don't admit their jokes what's the point shut the fuck up <laughs> you don't say that they're jokes because then you have to explain them you don't do that you make your statement in an innocuous way, so that the algorithms and the and the low IQ people over at YouTube don't come and strike my video. What? <laughs> you say it so the algorithm doesn't pick it up. Like me asking, do you think that there is a coincidence or a correlation between the vaccine, not saying which one, just the vaccine, and me coming out a year later as trans. In which you reply with a no. Or a yes. But that trips up the algorithm. Instead of just saying flat out that blah 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 caused blah blah blah. Alex, you don't know anything about the YouTube algorithm. You're talking, you're talking out of your three beers ass right now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Watch this not get taken down for medical misinformation. Because I've never claimed... That vaccines cause any sort of problems on this show. Vaccines actually cause you to uh, be a cool Chad who gets laid. 
Well, that's medical information. <laughs> medical misinformation. I, I misspoke. <laughs> I, haven't been, I haven't gotten laid since getting the vaccine. Vaccines cause epicness. We're gonna get. <laughs> what's show. like a? What's like a? I'm trying to think of something more snappy than that. Like, what's like a? What could be like a goofy T-shirt with like a guy? Who's got like sunglasses and a backwards hat and like looks really cool if the year was 1992. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> vaccines make you radical. <laughs> the vaccines are totally tubular. But all right, are we, are we done? Are vaccines we cause in? hot queens. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for that innocuous way to say something. There you go. You got to make it rhyme. So it's funny. Slandering and pandering. Thank you for listening. Lying and implying. <laughs> Alex, where can our listeners find you? You can, if you have not already, you can find me on YouTube as Colochu. There's an entire playlist of the Detour Ahead podcast on there. Uh, you can also find me on X because calling it Twitter is dead naming. There you go. Folks, you could find me in the link tree, linktr.ee slash Riley's Cinematic Universe. It's got some stuff on there. Podcasts. The Issue Crew. It's pretty great. Not much of a crew, considering that only me and Mo Diggity show up anymore. Uh, but you know. And you'll you'll hear about that on this week's episode, where I bring in the issue co-hosts who don't show up. <laughs> Have you brought in co-hosts who fall asleep yet? Uh no. I, I think I, I think there are plenty of people who I happen to know for un uh, completely unrelated. I seem to know a lot of people who have dealt with <laughs> co-hosts who have fallen asleep. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of them. Yeah. Anyway, link. In fact, it seems TR. like every co-host I have has dealt with a co-host falling asleep. It's a weird phenomenon that I've noticed. Crazy. It's like you attract people who have had co-hosts who fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Link.tr slash Riley Cinematic Universe. It's linktr.ee, you fucker. Link dot tree. <laughs> <laughs> Dickso.com. Everybody go to patreon.com slash detour ahead. Patreon.com slash detour ahead. It's all all for you. Give, Give me money. money. <laughs> Give me money. For every dollar you donate to the Patreon, some amount of that will go to Riley. True. The more money you give, the more money Riley gets. The 50 50 split. The more money you give me, the more money I get to decide goes to Riley. Are you playing a Game Boy right now? No. What was that noise? Probably my phone dinging. Does your phone have Game Boy sound notification? No. That sounded like a Game Boy. No, I have an iPhone. I'm not allowed to customize anything on iPhones. (laughs) I follow what... Daddy Gates want not Gates, but uh, Daddy Wozniak wants me to do. It's definitely not Wozniak anymore. <laughs> I don't know who runs Apple. I don't fucking care. What is his name? I used to know this. D- Shit. Daddy Daddy Jobs and Step Daddy Wozniak. I'm gonna look this up, and it's gonna make me pissed that I didn't remember it. It's Tim Cook. I didn't have to look it up. It was t- it's Tim Cook. It's Tim Cook. Oh, and Step Daddy, Step Daddy Cook. There you go. There it's you the go. whole family. Anyway, this has been Detour Ahead. I have been Alex, aka Kolochu. I've been Riley. And we will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.